let's just talk about this. Taylor's kind of the odd woman out now that Ridge has gone back to Brooke. I'm sorry. Yes. What did you say? The odd woman out? I don't odd woman out. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's what I want to know. Is she going to wait for Ridge? Is she going to set her eyes on somebody else? I, I don't think it's about what Taylor's doing. I don't think Ridge can take his eyes off her. So I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I love it. <laughs> And is that maybe a tease of things to come to? I'm just saying, I don't think I'm the one that keeps coming back. Okay, I love this. Yes, because she is her own woman. I've never gone to him ever once. So, I don't know. Maybe it's him that's the issue. Right? Maybe it's him. What do you think Ridge's issue is? Let's talk about that. What you could, If you could psychoanalyze him. Oh, come on. Well, obviously, there is definitely like an avoidant uh, attachment personality thing going on. Um, so there's that. Uh, probably mommy issues. That probably has a lot to do with it. Doesn't quite abandonment. So he stays with people that he knows aren't probably going to be the best for him that will leave because it makes him feel safer. And somehow he feels like maybe he can heal that a part of his childhood by if that person decides to be everything that they are. So it makes it very hard for him to, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just like, I love it, but this is so great. I was like, this is a whole, like, I was waiting for you to stop. No, I'm going to let you go. No. So good though. I'm no. Like, you got the mommy issues. You got it all in. No, I literally, if you thought I was serious right now, <laughs> no. <laughs> what should Taylor do? I, she should just go off and be independent and not, because she doesn't need Ridge. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, I think, look, I don't have any say in what Taylor does. If I did, I'd say, I don't know. I mean, I guess get on Tinder and go get some action, right? Like whatever it is, but that's not going to happen because then you wouldn't have the show. So what we need right now is a triangle and we need Taylor to be back and to be, have caused some problems and for maybe for things not to be a little awkward, right? Yeah and for Ridge to be very confused because he's such a waffler, right? So he doesn't know what to do. So poor Ridge, the man in the middle. Um, in the meantime, Brooke and Taylor are so much smarter than he is and we both know what he's doing. So we're just gonna play each other as the villains knowing full well he's the one that's messed up. I love that. You know, you guys are in the power position. I'm literally making this up again. <laughs> This has nothing to do with the storyline. But do it. I was like, but this is a good storyline to write. Yeah, but you know, if you were to do like backstory of like what we would want right now in 2022, I'd say that that would be it. The truth of it all is that that's not necessarily how it's written. And, and it's, you know, there's, there's all of those other things. But I'm going to hold tight for Taylor because I love her and I want her to be happy and I want her to have all the things that, that she wants. And if that's Ridge, I hope she gets him. Um, or if it's somebody else, hope she gets that. I hope she gets some. That's what I hope. <laughs> anything. <laughs> anything. At this point. I just hope she gets some. That's what I hope.